Let me just, you know, holy shit. Let me just, uh, you know, stick it in. Oh, uh, I meant stick it in the PS3, of course. Excuse me. Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Chef Film back with another video for you guys. On today's video, this video is gonna be a tiny bit different. It's all about jailbreak, jailbreaking your PS3. It's more like uh, how to spot fake jailbreak tutorials and stuff like that and some informations you will need in order for you to maybe jailbreak your PS3. So before I get into this topic, let me actually go ahead and go ahead and give, give a shout out to Dominic Jr. for making this YouTube video possible. Now on Snapchat, he or she, he have sent me a YouTube link through Snapchat and written down expose question mark and that's like emoji kind of thing and that video says how to job a ps3 4.81 easy new 2017 april no corrupted data so that jailbreak tutorial video is a video that explains you how to jailbreak a ps3 and i think 4.81 is like the latest update i think anyway so and he says you know that it works no corrupted data errors whatever okay okay but there's one thing it is fucking fake now i did my research and he even said that if i go to his channel he has that video multiple times uploaded so he has uploaded that same video multiple times in order to get views and subscribers so yeah let's get into this topic Okay, so if I open Google Chrome and go to that exact same video, hopefully. Uh, what was the title again? How to jailbreak. Wow. How to jailbreak PS3 4.81. Easy. New. 2017. April. Okay, that should work. Yeah, how to jailbreak PS3 4.81 easy new 2017 April no corrupted data error. How to videos a month ago. Okay. Now this guy is I think he's Dutch, and I think he's Dutch because his accent and you know this is Dutch so. He's Dutch and he replied, so yeah, okay, this guy's Dutch. And you can hear that it, it's a fucking Dutch bitch. Okay, thank you, don't thank you to submit. Submit. <laughs> bitch. So, he says that you need to subscribe to his uh, channel. Required, yeah, in order to get the download. So that's why it's actually fake. If it forces you to do something what is not necessarily, you know, needed in order to get the files. Um, but now, it's a survey kind of thing, but okay, okay, okay. Links, newest April jailbreak, no corrupted download link. Okay, let's see, can I actually download that? Don't, 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 don't download it. I, it, it yeah. Donald here, Rex, D Rex. I don't give a fuck. Eight videos that it's pretty much the same. Um, did I say that one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 videos that is pretty much the same especially these two are exactly the same judging on you know the time and you know thumbnail but I don't know maybe it talks over a bit anyway 
Wow. One or two tutorials are okay, but 11 tutorials. Holy shit. And these, these are just clickbaits. Not really clickbaits. It's more like, you know, tricking in, you into thinking that you're actually can jailbreak a PS4, a PS3 on 4.8.1. No, the only thing that you can jailbreak is on the f system 3.55. So if you have 3.55 update thingy installed, you're good to go and you can actually go ahead and fucking jailbreak a PS3. If you're below, which is totally good, you just need to update the 3.55. There's download links everywhere for that. Just Google it, 3.55 PS3 update file and boom, there you go. And install that update and then install the jailbreak. Now, if you have a newer PS3 on the latest whatever and you can actually go ahead and you know downgrade it, but in order to downgrade, the PS3 to a 3.55 you actually need your PS3 needs to be alive since that update till now so if I go ahead and go to the store and purchase a brand new PS3 that I cannot down uh, that PS3 cannot be downgraded or jailbroken because it's impossible because the lifetime of that PS3 is this month so, but let's say that if I go to the store and there's a PS3 that was made and released from 3.55 up to now and it's still there, sitting there to be sold, but no one just wants to buy that PS3, then you can purchase that PS3 and fucking jailbreak it. However, there are some ups and downs, but you know, the lifetime of a PS3 needs to be compatible with a jailbreak in order to actually install a jailbreak. If that makes sense, then it's good. If you're lost, still it's good, just follow me here. So let me go ahead and make a folder called PS3 all in caps. Inside here, new folder, update. Wait, what was it now? Oh, by the way, don't go ahead and download and do the thing that I do. Don't download these stuff because, or there will be a virus in it, which is, highly possible but more likely if there is no um, virus then there is a like a a, um, a key kind of thing I don't know the exact name of it but it actually tracks your keyboard and mouse and sometimes even your webcam so let, let's say if you go to a bank account and log into your bank account that virus or whatever key thing it tracks your writings and typings and with the mouse and stuff so it knows that um, you are logging into your bank account and can actually, you know, get into your bank account so you can lose money out of it. But however, I'm like, I'm poor, so I'm not afraid. <laughs> I couldn't find my, um, you know, modding, sa modded save games, whatever, USB. However, I found my two fucking terabytes of a USB. <laughs> So, let me actually go ahead and plug that in. 1.90 TB terabyte, holy shit. Um, so in PS3, that folder is empty. That's not good. Uh, let me go ahead and get the downloaded stuff. Uh, all I need to do now is just drag that and drop it in here. Come on, almost there, come on. There you go, okay, close that thing. Let's go ahead and eject that bitch. Now let's go ahead and move over to the PS3. Two hours later. Yeah, I will get lots of messages when I sign in. And I'm signed in. Get ready to remember, no, get ready for, you know. Uh, a couple messages, but. But I can't use my uh, two terabytes of a USB because it's too big. That's why she said PS3 will read it, but do doesn't really allow to do anything with it. It thinks it's a internal fucking hard drive or whatever. But okay, good news, everything is on this four gigabytes. Yeah, four gigabytes USB. So this should be a lot easier to read. So let's try it with this then. 
let me just, you know, holy shit, let me just, uh, you know, stick it in. Oh, uh, I meant stick it in the PS3, of course. Okay, it's on the right slot. <laughs> you little slut. And if we go and do save the utility, there you can see that the USB is it's reading the USB. Now let's go over here. Go to system settings and system information. Version 4.81, which is the latest version, and as you can see, I'm online. Uh, signed in and stuff. That's my uh, PSN. If you want to add me, go ahead. You can. You can have fun. It's an update, right? System update. So it's me. I now remember. He said no corrupted data, huh? I don't believe that for a fucking second. So it says the following update. Update data was found. 4.81.1 rebug re. USB device. Okay. Ah, the data is corrupted. Okay. Update the internet. No, because I am up to date. Let's try it one more time, right? Look, I'm about to jailbreak my PS3. Holy shit. Wow. No, you can't do that. You fucking can't do that. Alright, so I guess that's it for today's video, guys. As you can see, you cannot jailbreak a PS3 that easily. You can jailbreak on 3.55 or below. Yes, you can actually downgrade your PS3, but not every single PS3 is downgradable. I have the uh, super slim 500 GB of PS3. I cannot downgrade that one, and I can't jailbreak that one. However, if you have a fed fat version or the slimmer version whatever there are some downgradable models however it's not that easy but all I know is that if you want to jailbreak your PS3 the best way to jailbreak a PS3 is to purchase a pre jailbroken PS3 just have a pre jailbroken PS3 and that's it it costs like $250 I think maybe higher maybe lower you know, check it out, but be careful, and if you are on Amazon or whatever, just read the fucking star ratings or comments, just in case. Go ahead and thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it and if I actually helped it out, and there you go, exposed, bitch! But yeah, if I helped you out, support the channel by, you know, liking and maybe even subscribing, because if you didn't subscribe already, now is the best time. I upload different rental videos, I make montages, special videos, tutorials, Apparently exposed videos. Nah, I'm just kidding. But you know, I interact with you guys in a sexual way. We can play with each other, not in a sexual way. Okay, you know what? We can play with each other's dick on, on live streams and stuff. So, which is really fun. You should join. And you know, if you can, feel free to join. And also, I just want to quickly say that I just watched the trailer for Zombies Chronicles, and I'm fucking hyped. Yes, I pre-ordered it on the PS4, and then. I'm gonna pre-order it for the PC as well um, later, but you know, yeah. So expect more Black Ops 3 videos real soon. Maybe even some live streams, guys. How about some live streams? That snap, bro. Thank you for sending that to me, and thank you guys for watching this video. I highly appreciate it. And you know, if you wanna support this channel, you can, and you know, it, it is highly appreciated, of course, by subscribing and liking, and um. Yeah, for the ones that are already sexy, so already have subscribed to me. You guys are fucking awesome, you know that, right? You guys are fucking awesome. I am close to 1k, and add me on Snapchat for some special teasers. You know, I'm not gonna say that much, but for the ones that already have me on Snapchat, they will know what I'm talking about. They will fucking know. Because I make epic fucking teasers. No, not like camera pointing to me and like, hey, teaser coming up. No, I'm like... Editing a video, special video, I'm not gonna say that much. I'm just editing a special video and I render that special video in Snapchat's format and then upload that to Snapchat without that annoying fucking white bars. Um, just like what Call of Duty did or Treyarch did 
for you know teasers on Call of Duty Black Ops 3 before the release. Also, if you have any suggestions like video suggestions or a live stream suggestions, you can do video and or a live stream request by simply commenting down below or with a tweet. Make sure I'm tagged in the tweet though. And with that all said guys, I'm out. This bitch got exposed. <laughs> that was fucking weird, I know, but it's still cool.